In today's video, we are going to discuss about flash fill in Microsoft Excel. Here is the scenario where we have a list of email addresses and we want name to be read out from these email addresses. Or we have a list of SSN in a number format and we want this has to be entered into a proper SSN format. Let's find out how we can achieve this using a flash fill in Microsoft Excel. Here I came up with six very useful example where we can apply flash fill and it will give you a very good idea how flash fill will work. Let's see our very first example. Here I have a list of email address and we just want to extract name from the email and to use a flash fill all we have to do is enter the first value manually what we need from the cell and select the data use short use the shortcut control plus e to apply the flash fill and the fill magic will happen here let me tell you what flash fill will do is it will take this first value and try to find the pattern and apply to the rest of the cases let's see our next example here i have some descriptions and we want to extract just number from the description and again all i have to do is just enter the first value manually what we need from the cell in this case 130 and select the data and apply the flash fill but wait a second here if you absorb the second case did not fill properly it just pulled to instead of entire value this is because we entered the example for whole number and here all we have to do is enter the another example for the decimal value we enter the example for whole number which is a 130 and we'll enter another example for decimal which is a 26.2 now select this data and apply the flash fill now this time what flash fill will do is it will take this first two value and try to find the pattern and apply to the rest of the cases so we enter the example for the whole number and we enter the example for the decimal value. So two different patterns we have entered here. So flash will, will take these two patterns and it will apply to the rest of the cases. Let's try with another example here. Here I have a list of SSN in a number format and we want to enter SSN into a proper SSN format which is something like this three digit hyphen two digit hyphen and four digit and again all I have to do is just enter the first value manually which is a three six three hyphen seven five hyphen double six zero eight so we want our SSN to be entered in this format. So we have entered the first value manually. Next, select this data and apply the flash fill. And the magic happens here. Let me show you the different ways how we can apply the flash fill. Let me delete this data. Now select this cell. Here, the down right hand side box, just select and drag it down. Now, select this down arrow, now select flash fill. Or <coughs> select this data, you can go to home menu, go to fill section, and select flash fill. Let's check out our next example here. Here I have a list of employee names 
and we want to create a unique username for each employee and the criteria is to create a username is last name and initial name from the first name and the initial name from the middle name if available else just last name and the initial from the first name so in this case so Navid is my last name and M the initial value from the first name next select this data apply the flash file but wait a second here if you observe the second case where we have a middle name but flash will did not picked up the initial from the middle name this is because we have entered the example only for the last name and the first first name we did not enter the example for the middle name let's enter the another example for middle name so in this case Mulapali is the last name, S is the first initial and the K is the middle initial. Now we have entered the example for the first and last name and we have entered the another example for first name, last name and middle name. Now select this data, apply the flash fill. Now this time flash fill will take these two examples and it will try to find this two patterns in rest of the cases and it will filled up let's check out our next example here we have a invalid dates here and my system date format is month day and year format but here we have a values in day month and year format that's why excel is not recognizing this data if you want to convert this invalid dates into a proper system date format, we can use a flash fill. So all I have to do is just enter the first date manually in the proper date format. So month, day and year. Now select this data and apply the flash fill and the magic happens here. You can easily convert any invalid dates into a proper system date format just using a flash fill. Let's see our last example here where we have a transaction IDs and we want to separate this code name and the code number. And again, all I have to do is just enter the first code name manually which is a A B E D R. Next, select this data and apply the flash fill. It will just extract the text from this transaction IDs. And we need a code number also. And for this first case, the code number is 345. Next, select this data and apply the flash fill. If you closely look, our transaction ID has some zeros. But in the output, zeros are not showing up here. This is because Excel did not keep any trailing zeros. And if you want to keep a trailing zeros here, all you have to do is enter the first value with single quote just to keep these zeros here. So the single quote and the first value from my transaction ID which is a 345 now select this data now apply the flash fill now this time it will keep your trailing zeros as we are using a single quote in the starting I hope today's video helps you understand how flash fill will work if you like the content please like the video subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified with my upcoming videos that's it for today thank you so much for watching